Hi and welcome to episode 24 of Book Club. Today I am going to read The Woolly Bear Caterpillar, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Yuval Sommer. Julia Donaldson is the famous picture book writer of The Gruffalo. There was once a woolly bear caterpillar. She lived in the garden and she loved eating dandelion leaves. But one day, a gardener pulled up all the dandelions in the flower bed. The woolly bear caterpillar had to crawl off in search of some new ones. She hadn't crawled far when she heard someone singing. On the leaf of a sycamore tree sat a caterpillar with very long yellow and orange hair. And this was her song. Look at me, look at me, I'm bro- I'm bonny and bright as can be. With my hair of bright gold, I'm a joy to behold the queen of the sycamore tree. Hello, what's your name? asked the woolly bear caterpillar. I'm a sycamore caterpillar and I'm going to turn into a sycamore moth. Just think, if I'm so pretty now, I'll be absolutely gorgeous when I get my wings. I'm going to have wings to one day, said a woolly bear caterpillar. The sycamore caterpillar laughed. Yes, very plain ones, I expect. Never mind, we can't all be beautiful. The woolly bear caterpillar crawled on until she reached an apple tree. On a falling apple sat a caterpillar with red spots and bright yellow tufts. He was singing the song. Look at me, look at me, I'm stunning and smart as can be. With my tufts of bright yellow, I'm such a fine fellow, the king of the old apple tree. Hello, what's your name? asked the woolly bear caterpillar. I'm a vaporer caterpillar. I'm good looking, aren't I? And I'll be even more handsome when I'm a moth. I'll be a moth too one day, said the woolly bear caterpillar. The vaporer caterpillar laughed. Yes, a very dull one, I imagine. Never mind, we can't all be colourful. The woolly bear caterpillar crawled on until she came to a, a tall poplar tree. On the twig was a very strange looking caterpillar. He was bright green and round his head were some red marks that made it look as if he was screaming. He was singing the song. Look at me, look at me, I'm stunning and strange as can be. The marks around my head are fierce, fiery red. I'm the king of the tall poplar tree. Hello, what's your name? asked the woolly bear caterpillar. I'm a puss moth caterpillar. Don't I look weird and wonderful? And if I'm so unusual now, just think how extraordinary I'll be when I become a moth. I wonder what sort of moth I become, said the woolly bear caterpillar. The puss moth caterpillar laughed. A very boring one, I should think, he said. Never mind, we can't all be perfect. The woolly bear caterpillar felt a little sad. She wished she could be beautiful and exciting instead of plain and dull. But then at last, she found some dandelion leaves, which cheered her up. After a tasty meal, she crawled under a big dock leaf. It's time I got ready to change into a moth, she decided, and she started to spin herself a nice silky coat called a cocoon. The sycamore caterpillar was spinning a cocoon too, in some old leaves on the ground. The vapor caterpillar's cocoon was on a twig of the apple tree, and a puss moth caterpillar had found a snug hole in the poplar tree's bark for his cocoon. Weeks went by. Then it was time for the moths to hatch out of their cocoons. Out hatched the sycamore moth. She looked quite plain. Out hatched the vapor moth. He looked rather dull. He did have two white spots in his wings, but they weren't very exciting. Out hatched the push moth. He looked fairly boring, even though his wings did have a few squiggles. The three moths flew around the garden. Let's see if Woolly Bear has hatched out yet, said Sycamore. Good idea. At least she'll look more ordinary than us, said Vapor. Look, here's her cocoon, said Puss Moth. The three of them settled on the grass to watch. They didn't have long to wait. The cocoon split open and out hatched a lovely orange black and white moth. 
She had splendid blue spots, and her body was spiky like a tiger. She's beautiful," said Sycamore. "She's colorful," said Bigpore. "She's perfect," said Pussymoth. "And I'm not a woolly bear any more," said the newly hatched moth. "I'm a garden tiger moth." And feeling very happy, she fluttered into the air. The other three moths gazed up at her longingly, and all together they sang the song. Look at her way up there, no longer a small woolly bear. She's a beautiful sight. She's a perfect delight. The colorful queen of the air. The end. If you are new to my channel, it's called Candy Corn Book Club. If you like my videos, click like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Look out for more videos. See you next time. Bye.